friends welcome to storage automation campus this is Gaurav here this is uh, the last video of this series where I was teaching you how to use NetApp ONTAP API for different NetApp operations as uh, I said you in the previous video that you can do the programming whatever way you want to do you can have uh, a mail communication to send your reports you can have uh, API calling uh, by the another program which is calling the API so so there are multiple ways to perform a same task and as you know uh, you using Python language or any other language you can do programmatically it in different ways I in this video I am trying to show you how uh, you can it's a very basic uh, very basic tutorial in this video basically but I, I would like to show you how you can uh, create a small web page and on the back end you can call the NetApp API so that you uh, can pass the data uh, you in in the cluster or you can uh, create the you can perform the basic operations like creating volume or queue trees or deletion of volume or something like that and uh, this helps you basically when you do not want to give any uh, kind of uh, rights or permissions to somebody um, like your layer one team or some uh, any different engineer uh, that um, they, they log into the filer or, or they log into the cluster and perform different activity but you can you know give this web interface or you can have a single web interface to perform many difficult uh, different things here so uh, this interface I have this is a very basic small form I have created uh, main uh, point here is to understand how you can combine these APIs with the web interface how you want to perform that so <clears throat> we will see here so uh, I, I, first I will try to create the volume then I will explain you explain you how we are doing this so let's say I, I want I have this web form and I want to create web wall 01 I want to create a 1 gig volume then uh, the volume aggregate name going to be let me check what is the aggregate name is so I have svm underscore root underscore aggr that is my aggregate where I'm going to create it and also let me see if there is any web wall 01 So there is no volume called web wall 01 so we will go ahead and create this so uh, in this basic form I have given the volume name size and the SVM um, root and the root sorry uh, the aggregate information I'm going to uh, click on submit and I expect that after I click on submit it should create a volume in the back end on the cluster for me so this page says that uh, volume is created so you can see that uh, volume is created in in the same aggregate what we mentioned and uh, the size is 1 GB so this is how you can basically create the volume uh, I know this is very basic very simple uh, web form uh, but uh, in this tutorial I just want to give you some ideas how you can uh, use this API so that's the reason I, I don't want to concentrate more on the complex form or the complex solution but I want to show you how exactly this happened so this is basically uh, the flask uh, python flask which I am using here and using python flask uh, i have created the web form uh, which uh, i am uh, i i render uh, to show you when you load this um, um, load this url which is in our case is 127 which is running on the virtual server uh, in the virtual environment in the python so once you load this url you uh, get this form.html and form.html is nothing but this uh, uh, text box and the submit button you uh, get the input the data in there and this form accepts the data 
we this in this portion like any other uh, tutorial I, as i said before in this portion we are setting up the connection with the cluster uh, yes it makes sense uh, that you set up all this uh, connection uh, not in the same form uh, not in the same code where you are running the flask but you you should have a different uh, module altogether where you do this connection uh, this is not the best practice but uh, as i said i just want to keep it very simple and then you uh, select this uh, you get the values from the form and uh, save them in one one of the variable and then you you pass those variable values in the api as a parameter and then you uh, run, uh, invoke the api you run the api so once your api is uh, executed it should create the volume or it should create the queue tree and then you are calling a different for uh, html page called submit.html which basically tells you that okay yes the volume is created so so this is the submit.html page so uh, this is very basic one and very uh, uh, basic tutorial uh, so idea is that uh, there are multiple ways how you can use it uh, you can create your own web api as well uh, using which you can uh, uh, you can give that web api to your service now team so that they can integrate in your uh, their environment as soon as if you have service now in place so somebody submit the service now request uh, so that api can take the payload and uh, can run the uh, and the command or, or call the another API in NetApp on tap API and uh, execute the operation so that is one of the way uh, then you can have uh, this way where you can have a web portal where anybody can go and uh, request it but uh, it is important that um, you, in this case you not need to give access to different people but uh, they can simply go here and request on this so that is one of the way same accordingly you can uh, acknowledge once the once the request is complete you can uh, let your users know in different way by sending a mail or by updating the service now form or, or, or service now details so so there are multiple ways how you want to do it so um, it is important to understand uh, basically the core of uh, this complete tutorial and which is like how you connect uh, that is important in some companies there are ways they they connect using the uh, wfa so that's completely different way how you use the wfa apis um, so so we are not talking in this tutorial about wfa apis so that is completely different but uh, yes uh, this conclude my uh, this series uh, this was the last video of this series i hope you would have enjoyed this one and uh, this would be helpful to learn something in in your knowledge so just keep watching keep learning and also don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, thank you very much